What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? It is me, your girl, Tiffany, and I'm back at it. I'm back at it with some more content for you guys. So go ahead, do me a favor. Go ahead and tap in with your girl. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, so I can keep pushing out content once a week. It's my schedule right now, but I will start picking it up. I will start being more consistent with this channel. So go ahead, tap in, become one of my friends so we can do this together. All right? So if you haven't read by the title of this video, the title is Seven Things That We As Women, Especially Mothers, Need To Stop And Start Doing When It Comes To Raising Boys. Um, I'm just... Yeah, I just think it's time for me to put this video out there. Um, it's a lot of reasons why I'm putting this video out there, but we're not going to get into that. We're just going to go ahead and get right into the video. So go ahead, stick around. It's not going to be too long, and you won't be disappointed. All right. All right, you guys. So the first thing that's on your girl's list of just seven things that we need to stop doing and maybe start doing when it comes to raising boys. And the first thing is, let's stop telling boys that they should be boys. I mean, if they get hurt, if they're playing in the playground, um, if they're doing something at school, and that's the first thing we come up with, boys will be boys. First off, what do that mean? Why do we come up with that saying, boys will be boys? Another saying that we come up with, She's hitting you because she's like you. She hit you because she like you. We're promoting domestic violence. And we're promoting that boys will be boys. So if you're half a boy, if you're having boys, if you know someone who's raising a boy, Let's stop saying that. Let's stop putting these words and these titles and these labels on our boys. Because they get that installed in their head at an early age. And I don't even know what that means. Boys should be boys. Can somebody please, right now, in the comments, explain to me what that means to you. Boys will be boys. Let's stop doing that. Okay? No. All right, you guys. <laughs> So we are on the number two thing, the second thing, however you want to put that phrase, that's on your girl's list, and that is, and I did this before, yes, I have did this before, and I try not to do it so much with my kid, my children, my boys, I mean, because this is a video about raising boys, but I have did this before, um, but just telling boys that they're not supposed to cry. That is where the emotional neglect comes from when they become adults. When they're little and they hurt themselves, I'm like, oh, get up. Boys ain't supposed to cry, but it hurt. Why do we do the opposite for little girls? Oh, get up, let me kiss your boo-boo, all that. But when it comes to our little boys, get up. That big old scar you got on your head, that don't hurt, stop crying. Boys don't even post to cry. Let's stop that. Because now they're grown men who are not emotional connected to anybody. Not even to their own feelings. Because they was told as little bitty boys when it hurt it not to cry. If you are raising boys or you are in a boy's life and they're young, because it's, it's let's let's help these troubled kids before they come become broken adults. It is okay for them to cry. Tell them that, if anything, I don't want to see you cry, go in your room and cry. But don't tell them that it's not okay to cry. That's not right. Now you're emotional neglecting them just because they're a boy. Why do that make sense? Please make it make sense to me. Yes, you can cry. Men nowadays don't have a safe place to where they could go and say, I'm scared. I'm scared to be a husband. I'm scared to be a father. So they run away from me. Oh yes, I'm, I'm speaking facts. I don't, when I come with these, 
with these videos is life experiences or is stuff I know research. I'm a Scorpio, so I'm an investigator. Anything I bring to you, I have receipts for. So, let's stop doing that to our boys, all right? Because that's where the saying is no good man. Well, you know, raise the boy that you done told ain't supposed to cry. Yeah, that, um. So that's the second thing, all right? Let me hurry up before I get too emotional. Okay. So we are on the third thing on your girl's list. And the third thing is, this is something that I, I know a lot of women do, a lot of mothers do, and I have did this before myself. And we always do this with the oldest child. The oldest son always get it, especially when they have siblings. First off, the oldest child is not your babysitter when it comes to the youngest to the siblings. Let these kids be kids. They didn't help you make them kids. They didn't come in your bedroom and help you create them kids. Why do you think it's your responsibility to make them raise, watch them kids? Let them kids be kids. Let the oldest kid be kids. Let it be a choice for them. Now I know some of us got to go to work. I, I did it 20 years plus. I have left my two youngest kids with my oldest kid. It wasn't until he got a little bit older that I just wanted him to be a, a, a child. My kids, it's not his responsibility. Let your son see how a woman, their mother is supposed to act in public and in private. Let them see how a woman is supposed to carry herself. How a woman is supposed to talk properly. It's okay to go zero to a honey. Trust me, I done did it. But sometimes going to a hundred might have you somewhere you don't want to be. And we're trying to live. So, the number four thing, y'all, is just make sure you show a good example of a woman. So they would know what to look for when they get older. All right, y'all. So we are on the fifth thing on your girl's list. Number five, fifth. Yeah, that's on your list. And this is something that you could take with a grain of salt. You can let it go over your head. You can let it go in one ear and go out the other. It really don't matter. I'm just giving you the, the game. Just sprinkling it on you. So this one right here is something that I probably did maybe because I had my oldest son at 15 and I didn't know no better. And like I always say, if you don't know better, you don't do better. But it's just showing your son the streets when you have the ability to show them something else. Now it's okay to be street smart. Don't get me wrong, but it's more to the streets than the streets and I think some mothers fail to give that to our sons so now they're older and the streets are they they friends and they family that's who they profess and they love to the streets show your boys something different early on in life even if you stay in the hood even if you stay in the jets I don't use the word ghetto because that's not our word. You can show them something different. You don't have to show them that all the time. Okay? And if you are showing them that, show them what's the outcome of it. Be real. Be a realist. All right. Let me hurry up because my son is going down. I'm telling y'all this California weather, you love it and then you sometimes don't. The sun going up, down. We got gray clouds. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So let me hurry up. Find you a good man. Put it in that boy's life. Put him in some sports with some good men. Him don't even got to be related to you. The good man don't even have to be related. It could be a coach, a tutor, sometimes a teacher. 
just get somebody positive in his life at an early age so he can see something different than what he's going to see in women. You cannot teach him how to be a man. So stop saying it. Alright, I'm getting too emotional, y'all. I'm about to start dropping tears and all. <sighs> No. So we almost done, y'all. We almost done at the number seven thing. Stop playing. Stop. So the number seven thing we could do with our boys, we need to start doing. And that's just listening. When he said listening, it's like I felt this energy come over me. Because because we listen, but do we really listen? Sometimes we listen and we want to give our advice. Or sometimes we listen, but we only want to hear what we want to hear. But sometimes boys, and especially now men, they just want someone that would listen without giving advice, without any help. Just listen. Without belittling them. Without telling them what you think. And you know, I didn't really think about that. You know, raising my sons and being in a relationship right now. Yes, I listen and I could give, I could tell you what you said word from word. Yes, and bring it up two days. But am I listening without giving my own input? Right there, we stop men from talking. Right there, the communication because they could come to us and all they want us is to lend them an ear. But we want to lend the ear, the mouth. Women, sometimes they just want us to listen. So if you can't take nothing from this video, take that. If you're raising boys, if you're in a relationship, if you have a brother, anything, and you see that they're really opening up, they're being vulnerable to you, telling you their story, just listen. Because sometimes they tell on themselves, like he said. They tell on themselves. So... This is the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here. Um, I have came up with the idea. I'm going to hit you guys with another video this week. Yes. Two videos per week. Why not? What do I have to lose? So, go ahead and tap in with your girl. Let me know what you think about this video. I'm trying to boost us up. I'm trying to self-improve. That's what I was put on this, this earth to do to serve my people, to show them that it's better. It's better on the other side, <laughs> for real. So, like I say on all my videos, be you, because it looks better. That authentic, authentic you, and anything you do comes out, it shines. Pray, I need to start saying that on my videos. Pray, man, pray. God is listening. If nobody else is listening, God is listening. All right, and until the next video, Y'all be careful because safes get broken into and we ain't got time to get broken into. Not in 2022.